Gamers! Welcome back to Swarm Z, a game we have not played in like a year or two, but I thought it was about time we make a return to it. This is a zombie battle simulator, and we're gonna be trying to make a massive defense of this military base against possibly a million zombies. So if you guys are excited for this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more of these older games make a return to the channel. Either way guys, let's go ahead and place our baby. That is of course the thing that we are protecting in this battle, and let's place it right there. That's where I want our baby to be, very nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the defensive barricades. Okay, so here's the barricade defense I came up with. We have two layers on each doorway, actually three over here, plus a bunch of these micro pillboxes to put soldiers into uh, to defend in different stations, and then finally a inner defense for the baby itself. Now we gotta go ahead and place our humans to defend. All right, here's what we've got for our human defenders. So we have basically the closest ranged uh, ranged weapons in the front, followed by shotgunners, well, these are pistolmen, shotgunners, and then we actually do have a buffer of some melee troopers, followed by assault rifles. The assault rifles can cover all of these people from the back, and we have sort of the same thing going on over on this end as well. Then in the cubbies, we have some of them that are closer range with shotguns, and then other ones that needed a little bit more range with assault rifles. And then defending the baby over here, we've got snipers, as well as assault riflemen surrounding, and then we're also going to go ahead and add a few melee uh, katana soldiers and uh, maybe a few crowbars, as well as a last stand sort of defense type deal for zip it Okay, let's add the zombies to this thing. All right, gamers, uh, this is a lot of zombies. Look at this, we just filled the entire field with zombies. It's absolutely insane. Some of them are scientist zombies, some of them are riot zombies, some of them are just standard infected zombies. We've got some prisoner runner zombies as well. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Why don't we go ahead and press start here. Brace yourself, boys, because this is about to get a little bit hairy. Pressing start right now, and the battle does end up beginning. Million zombies coming forward here. Uh, we've got the revolver people firing out first, of course, um, and immediately they're starting to get swarmed. I mean, this is just a, a disaster waiting to happen, but hopefully our further back lines can, in fact, resist these zombies a little bit better here. That's for sure. We definitely need that. Let's go zoom in over on this side of the battlefield real quick. Uh, these fellas actually seem to be doing a lot better on this end of the battlefield with their shotgunners as well as assault riflemen. And the revolver soldiers don't really seem to be doing nearly as much as our shotgunners are doing over here. These guys actually tearing into these zombies pretty decently, if I do say so myself. Let's go back over here. It looks like already some of the revolver uh, survivors are dying on this battlefield, and the shotgunners are taking over on this side of the battlefield for them, uh, and, and really just trying to save them and keep them alive for a little bit longer, but I don't think these people are going to be staying alive for that much longer because they are slowly but surely getting absolutely swarmed by these riot shield zombies as well as standard infected zombies over here. Most of the scientist zombies, actually all of the scientist zombies are on this end over here. There are some of those uh, riot zombies as well over here too, and I believe the riot zombies have a little bit more health than the scientist zombies. Uh, there are tears to these things, people, uh, but still both are pretty formidable. I don't think this area over here has really too much threatening it at the moment. It seems like a few of the zombies are getting awfully close to these sidelines over here, but not quite close enough to actually uh, pose too much of a threat. And then the middle section is just getting absolutely torn apart to the point uh, where there is zero threat for them. Uh, again, this sideline area over here also having a little bit of trouble, uh, but nothing that a little bit more firepower cannot do. Okay, so this side of the battlefield yet again is uh, the worst side as the zombies begin to uh, just squeeze their way in here and start to eat these shotgunners. The baseball bat troopers also dying too. Uh, melee units just are not the most powerful in this, so I expect these guys to go down 
relatively quickly. The assault riflemen behind, though, trying their best to sort of save the day a little bit and uh, spare some of their fellow survivors here, but I'm not sure it's actually going to work out too well for them because uh, clearly the first two lines fell pretty quickly. I don't think that they'll have too much uh, of an easier time, especially considering the fact that the zombies are just getting so close at this point over here. I mean, they're just almost on top of them at this point on this side of the battlefield that they're probably going to get sucked up as well here. It's a, it's a no bueno situation for anyone. Here are some of these baseball bat survivors. They're trying their best to save the baby, but uh, it's still just not enough. They are getting sucked up as well. These pillboxes should start firing pretty soon, and it looks like actually uh, some of the survivors in the further back lines are managing to get some fire out there at these guys, so that's definitely good. The sniper's not yet engaging, despite them having extremely long range. I don't know why they're not engaging quite yet, uh, but they're still quiet on that side of the battlefield. And these assault rifle uh, soldiers do begin to go down, it seems. Oh, are the snipers firing? No, nope, not yet. They still have those Dragonovs on safety. I don't know why. Okay, you might want to start firing pretty soon. Either way, moving back over this way, this side of the battlefield is just like Chad mode initiated. I don't know what it is about this side of the battlefield, but these guys are still kicking it, still alive, still managing to survive the waves upon waves of zombies that are coming on forward here. Absolute insanity. Wow, I, I'm actually shocked that the uh, the survivors over there are still managing to uh, hold their ground, uh, especially because this side is doing so poorly comparatively. This side is just getting rolled right now. Look at that, the last of these assault rifle troopers are about to be eaten by the zombies. No bueno at all. I do wonder if when they get eaten, they do make one zombie. Not that one zombie would make that much of a difference when there's a million zombies on the battlefield, but I am a little bit curious. Either way, we do have our pillbox formation starting to fire out. We will find out if these things are worth their salt, uh, you know, if they are actually gonna be effective at all in this battle. As of right now, they do seem to be holding the zombies to this choke point currently, which is very good. They do have all these assault riflemen back here, as well as uh, some revolver troopers over here too so I think this area might be able to hold okay the weakest point definitely is going to be these revolver soldiers over this way uh, these people over here are just not nearly as strong as the shotgunners so they might be the weak point in this defense uh, it looks like they are no longer really holding the zombies to that choke point the choke point is beginning to fall and the zombies are beginning to swarm a little bit more further in that is no bueno at all no sir Rebob. These snipers are still not firing. What on earth are you fellas doing? We need you guys to fire. Like, at all, anything. Come on, give us a, your longest range soldiers that we've got, and they're not firing in the slightest. I really don't understand it. Either way, this choke point is definitely falling pretty good here. The zombies are starting to look towards the pillboxes to take them out. I think once those things fall, we are going to be in pretty bad shape. As of right now, it looks like a lot of the zombies have died on the battlefield, but there's still many of them left uh, to go through. All right, how are we doing over here? Uh, the shotgunners are actually starting to get swarmed a little bit more. It seems like their defense, while definitely surviving longer than other defensive points, uh, well, it's starting to collapse a little bit here. Definitely a little bit. Uh, <laughs> they are... They are certainly struggling a little bit more, and uh, the zombies are getting closer and closer to their defensive barricades, maybe even uh, taking a few stabs at these defensive barricades. So, things are starting to collapse a little bit for the survivors right now. Yep, we are seeing barricades actually being broken by the zombies at this point. These CDC zombies are uh, just about to go ahead and eat some of these defense shotgunners. Ooh, Lordy, this is not looking too good. Oh, yep, uh, some soldiers are dying over this way to the CDC zombies. We do have the bat soldiers sort of, uh, you know, chipping away at them a little bit. Maybe that'll buy the assault rifle women back here some time to get some more kills. They're doing a nice job here, but even still, it's just so many zombies that it might not be enough. This is truly a matter of, uh, you know, outgunning these zombies, but there's just so many that are flooding in that it's clearly very very difficult to do that and these assault rifle women are about to start getting bitten into um so it could be that these pillboxes over here and yes this one over here is getting activated uh so those things will have to uh take up some of the 
uh, you know, flack that's going on right now. Over this way, it looks like the zombies are getting closer and closer, but they're still being held back at least a decent amount right now. That's very good to see. These shotgunners uh, still managing to get their kills, uh, and these uh, revolver soldiers still managing to get their kills, too. That didn't end up being the weak point that I thought it would be. But over here, we can see the CDC zombies are making their own pathways in to the battlefield right now, and the survivors are having a lot more trouble uh, actually defending. It looks like my dog is underneath my desk right now, pushing around my uh, microphone cable, so sorry if you heard any noise right there. Oh, he wants a, he wants a bone. Okay, one second, guys. I, I gotta, here, I can actually pause. I'll pause the battle. I'll go get him a bone. All right, gamers, bone has been acquired. Now, uh, listen, I, you know, the channel is very important to me, you guys are very important to me, but if my dog needs a bone, gosh dang it, I'm gonna pause and get him a bone. You know what I'm saying? Doggo is always top priority. Either way, uh, the right side of shotgunners here is still somehow managing to, uh, stay in business over here and managing to kill a lot of these CDC zombies. It seems like, uh... Both sides of zombies have just about the same amount left alive, it seems. Uh, these guys getting really close to the bibbe now. The bibbe. Oh! Did one of these snipers fire? Oh my god, the snipers are firing! Let's go! That might be the savior to this defense here, maybe? I don't know. Well, it doesn't seem to be being all that effective right now because... Right now, the assault riflemen are firing away. I do think, actually, that the assault riflemen being in the way of the snipers actually makes them not really fire. Oh, well, now they're firing. So they're clearly not that concerned about friendly fire. I'm a little bit confused by that. Uh, either way, it seems like over here, uh, these pillboxes are still surviving somehow, uh, but the zombies are just kind of brushing past them, actually, uh, and, and going straight for the bebe. They, they do know their priorities uh, lie in the baby, and I, I do think that we are going to lose this battle despite our best efforts. At the very least, this pillbox over here seems to be getting activated as well and firing out, uh, so that's a good thing. Here we go, the uh, sniper is now fully mobilizing here, so maybe this higher caliber weapon can, uh, you know, stop some of these zombies from coming too close. They do have a good, uh, what's it called? Uh, collateral, collateral damage. It does, it does collats to the, uh, the enemies here, which is uh, pretty, pretty shit. You know, I think it could get like 10 kills at a time or something along those lines, so that's pretty decent. Uh, but even still, we are definitely in last stand territory right now, uh, losing our defense pretty desperately to this zombie swarm that's coming on in here. How's the other side doing? Uh, the other side uh, is about to be swarmed as well. Uh, we've got a full, complete breakthrough over here. This is looking pretty brutal. Let's go back to the Bebe, the main line of defense. The zombies are at the snipers now, uh, beginning to tear at their barricades over here. Assault riflemen trying their best to uh, support the snipers here, but even they have their own problems that they're having to deal with. Uh, the revolver soldiers over here are still alive somehow as well. They're just doing a little bit of chiclet fire on in there as well. Uh, we've still got katana uh, wielding people and crowbar wielding people back here too, uh, who could certainly help out. Okay, the zombies are starting to get to the snipers now. Oh, I thought our defense was going to hold at the very beginning of this video. I thought, oh, god dang, we, we built solid, good, good defense here. But evidently that is not the case as now our katana wielders are our last stand desperate situation defense people are starting to, to, to swing their swords and uh, chop into some of these zombies but it's only a matter of time they're just a melee unit they're not that powerful the zombies are getting to the baby no not the baby oh the baby's dead rip <laughs> Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more. All right, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.